at the Pittsburgh Comic Con 2011. I'm here at the Films and Comics booth. I'm here with uh, penciler Gary Morgan and inker Lauren Skinkus. And they are here in support of their, um, their book, The Field on the Edge of the Woods. Um, how are you guys doing today? Pretty good. Great. Awesome. Okay. And um, what, uh, Lauren, I'll start, uh, I'll start with you. What, um, what, what, basically, what do you have here on, uh, you know, that you're working on or that you're selling this weekend? Um, I'm, right now, I'm, uh, I'm inking uh, Gary's, uh, the most recent panel for book two, which we are uh, very close to completion at. Um, we were getting, uh, we were selling um, book 1.5. Uh, we didn't quite finish book two, so we, we did a, a kind of half issue, and um, so it, it was a good weekend overall. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Okay. And the uh, the the reception for for book one and book one point five has has been uh, pretty well received. Oh yeah, really good, really really well received here. Um, we've we've gotten reviews. I mean, we've we've all, only had positive reviews, so it's it's encouraging. Great. Now, um, so Gary, what um, what exactly are you working on uh, this weekend? Well, this weekend I'm just trying to keep ahead because we're all kind of all caught up. Uh, Lauren's caught up to me, and I always like to keep at least a couple panels ahead of them on the pencils. But uh, so I didn't get to do as much as I wanted to, but uh, I just got to keep on uh, getting book two done. I mean, we're at the point where we have like eight to ten pages left to do. Uh, Frick has it all planned out, so now he just gives me the thumbnails and the script of uh, what he wants on each page, and I just got to put it down and, and get it going to Lauren. But uh, so yeah, we're at the, this getting it together, getting 1.5 together, and getting just everything together kind of put me behind a little bit. But uh, we'll, we'll get back on track, and we'll probably have it done here in the next uh, month or so. Now, um, now you you have a very kind of lush, detailed style of art. What what are some of your influences? Oh, uh, well, comic influences. I, I'm a big fan of Bernie Wrightson. Um, I've, I like all his stuff, even like the old EC stuff, like Wally Wood and all the, that kind of style. Um, more recently, I like, like Jai Lee. Uh, a couple, a couple artists are just kind of, I don't like the typical cookie cutter uh, way of drawing the superheroes or cookie, you know, you got to do this. Um, I just like to be original sometimes and uh, try not to copy I, I, to anyone. Uh, just draw from. I mean, I have a BFA from IUP. That's no big deal, but <laughs> but like I've done a lot of figure drawing and a lot of uh, drawing courses in the past. So uh, maybe that plays a fact that I'm not uh, you know taught as a comic book artist, where I'm more taught as a, you know a real realist type artist. It's, more traditional yeah. type. Now, um, prior to Field on the Edge of the Woods, have you, had you you've not done any sequential art or no, <laughs> no, no. I've done. Uh, I've always liked comic books. Um, I've been a collector since I was ten years old, and big fan of artists, big fan of art. Um, but nothing other than just I have a lot of sketchbooks filled with little things, but nothing printed or anything like that. Since uh, this is my first go at it, and it's been been a lot of fun especially working with Lauren who uh, does wonders to my pencil I mean it's just amazing that I remember the first time I did the the penciling and he had the inks done I looked at it and I was just like blown away because it was it was first to me and it was just so, it was done so well and so crisp and uh, after that it was just love at first sight <laughs> okay well um, going back to Lauren um, now you've been um, you've been working on uh, comics for many years right yeah yeah you know what I actually I started working I think the first comic I ever I ever did like did a comic stapled it together was with uh, Pat Donnelly at the time tunnel we did uh, insect man we did a couple copy a couple issues of insect man but um, you know I, I really like the fact I like inking um, it seems to be the thing that I'm going into more now uh, in the past I used to do everything but now as a team I find it's a lot easier to just, you know, to be part of a team. Everybody has their own assigned roles, and, and, it, and it, it just, you know, once you get clicking, like what we're doing right now, we can get out, you know, get out the product faster and faster, and it, you know, it seems to work really well. 
Now, um, speaking of the team of you and Gary and uh, Frick, uh, and I'm spe- speaking of um, Frick Weber, who's the writer. Um, how did you guys come together as a you know as a as a creative group? Oh, I uh, I used to work with Frick uh, about about seven or eight years ago, uh, and he you know I, I used to go to the uh, local comic book shop at lunchtime, and he you know he was a comic book fan. And we, uh, we teamed up together for a comic called uh, Star and Stripes back in maybe 2003 or 4, um, which you can find on Cloud9 Comics. Um, we did one issue of that. We were going to do more, but at, at the time I was in between jobs, so I kind of went by the wayside. But uh, when he contacted me about this, um, and then I, I met Gary through Frick, um, I thought, like, wow, it was really great. I really liked Gary's pencils. and. Couldn't wait to get it, get some ink on paper on them, and uh, you know it's turned out pretty good. Now, um, now you mentioned Cloud Nine. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that company and how you got how you're associated with them? Cloud Nine is they are based in Australia. Uh, they're a digital publisher. They they publish um, uh, you on the their their application. You can read comics on the iPad, the Kindle, uh, other electronic media, and um, yeah, they, I mean, they, they seem to be growing, and um, they, they helped us out with this table here. Um, but, yeah, it seems like it's the, the, the way of the future, so, um, you know, we're embracing it. Great. Now, uh, and where can, um, if anyone's interested, where can they find um, e- the, your book, either in print or on, on the web? Uh, in print, uh, ho- hopefully at a local comic shop in the greater Pittsburgh metropolitan area or at uh, filmsandcomics.com or uh, cloud9comics.com Nerd Love Nerd